Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in making a scratch platforming game. So last time we saw how to make another level and we can avoid spikes to you know complete our levels. We've got moving platforms which is pretty cool but we need to be able to win the game so there has to be a, a, an object to either get to or something to trigger you know you winning the platforming game. So in many platformers you have to reach an item. In Sonic it used to be um, a little sort of lamp post that went round when you reach certain points in the game to trigger a save point and we're going to do something similar now. So the first thing we need a sprite to get to so we're going to upload a new sprite. Um, you can choose anything for this to be. Um, I've got here some different portals that I'm going to use so I'm just going to open up this one here. It's um, you know obviously not what we want at the moment so we're going to edit that just doing it exactly the same as what we did before. So we're going to just cut one of these out and I'm going to delete that and then we're just going to go around with the eraser tool with this set to transparent. So we can just erase the white, come around a little bit. Because I'm using a white background we don't have to be perfectly accurate with this um, but just to get the majority of it off so that it will blend in. There we go. So we've got our object, we're going to move it up to the top, I'm just going to get rid of that little line there because that will show up, there we go, and then we need to do some code for it. So we're going to click to the code section and the first thing we want to do is we want to hide it when the green flag is clicked because you know we don't want this to appear on our first level, we want to have to get to this on our second level. So again under looks we are going to hide that, so we click on the green flag and hey presto it's gone. But when we get to the second level of course we want it to show. So we can now go to broadcast again and say when I receive, and this time it will be next level, so we're going to want it to show this time. And now what will happen is it doesn't appear on the first screen, but when we come over to our second screen, there it is. We're going to move that to the top. I think we need to resize that a little bit as well. So let's go back to costumes, select it. I'm going to flip that around the other way. You can do this, it's quite handy. And then once we got that flipped around the other way, let's put that back over towards the middle. We're going to make it quite a bit smaller as well. And can just see we've got a little bit of red around the edge, it's distracting, so let's get rid of that. That's more like it. Missed a bit. There we go. So we're going to place that over here towards the edge of the screen. So there we go. So now we've got our portal to run into. Just clean up that edge a little bit. There we go. So we now have our portal in place for our character to get to. And it only appears now when we want it to appear. So that's good. Um, couple more things we'll want. This time I want it to appear like the character's going into it. I don't want him sort of going over the front of it. So I'm actually going to just move this to the um, front this time. So I'm going to say go to the front layer so it looks like the character's going behind it. And also when the game over screen is triggered we want to be able to hide it as well because otherwise it will appear you know when the game over screen is up which we definitely don't want so there we go hide so that's it for the code from this one um, now it will um, not appear when we have game over it will appear when we want it to appear we just now need to learn how to trigger um, a you win screen so for that we're going to do that actually on the um, sprite character so we are going to do a broadcast similar to last time and we are going to um, we're going to trigger a game over screen with that. So back to our sprite character we're going to create some new code. So we're going to say when green actually no we're not we're going to go when I receive when I've received next level this means it will only ever trigger if you're on the next level, which is perfect. And then we can say forever, if, and again, touching, we've used this quite a few times. We're going to do something slightly different now. So we're going to do touching, and we're actually going to use the um, sprite itself. 
So this one starts with 113, here it is, portal. So now I can say forever if we're touching anywhere on this sprite, and we're going to do a new broadcast now, which is going to be you win. So new message, you win. Okay, so now we can broadcast a new message. When we've touched this, we can now put into place our final screen. So we now need to upload a winning screen. So we can upload our backdrop, and I've already got one here, but obviously, you know, you can choose your own. Um, you can extend this, you can do a couple of different things here, um, or you can paint the rest of it black. I'm just going to actually extend it a little bit just for speed but you can also obviously put the rest of the background to black so you don't stretch this out like I am now. It's another way of doing it if you don't want to you know, stretch the graphics out too much. There we go, that's covering the screen. Good, so last couple of things we need to do. We need to make sure we hide anything when we've won the game. So just like before, we will um, hide all of the other things. So it's almost exactly the same as this. So I'm going to duplicate that and then go, you win. And now here's another neat trick. I can do this. And when that kind of wiggles, it means it's copying that code onto that block. So we don't have to go by, go about sort of, you know, putting all the blocks together a second time and just finish off on this one. Right, one last thing to do. So we need just now to trigger that background screen. So we're gonna go over to the stage. We're gonna to go to the backdrops and you can see here it's backdrop three. So in our code, we just need to say, when I receive you win, switch to backdrop three. So once you've got that in there, the game now should work as intended. So we have a little run obviously avoid the spikes, get on the moving platform, jump, and there you have it. We now have our winning screen. So we have several ways to die in our game. We can you know, run onto the spikes, we can fall off the moving platform, hit the spikes again, and we've also now got a winning screen for if you, you know, complete the quest and get to the portal. Um, next tutorial will just make the game a little bit more difficult by adding moving lightning bolts to avoid and then that will pretty much wrap things up. Thank you for listening. See you next time.